Hi, today we're going to go ahead and show how to replace the keypad. So you got a keypad that, uh, you know, if you hit the one, it, uh, well, this one it's showing up, but uh, if you hit the one and nothing shows up or any of the buttons, if nothing would work. So for example, just the keypad just does not work. Um, this is how we're going to go about fixing it. Um, and just kind of like the last video. We're gonna have to take out four screws, at least four screws. And that one, that one, that one, and that one. Those four holes are what hold in your keypad. Now I've already removed those screws, um, kind of like I did in the previous video. Same thing. So you're just gonna give it a little tap. And again, you want to kind of hold it at an angle. Uh, you might have to give it a couple of hard taps, but it'll eventually pop out and just go ahead and pull this out. So we can set the unit aside for now, because we're not gonna need that. So the keypad has two parts, or has a couple parts to it, but uh, first thing first, we're gonna have to take out all of these screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and when I come back, we will continue on. All the screws removed, which you're gonna have a total of two, four, six, so it's 12 screws in total, which I have over here, set to the side. Now, once you get those screws out, you can just kind of lift up and pull this out, or pull this off, and that's your bottom casing. Now, there are two things with inside this keypad. One is a gel, whoop, there we go, back on camera. <clears throat> there is a gel, um, circuit board cover and then your actual um, um, button keypad um, board so most of the time when a keypad is not working it is going to be this piece um, you know I'm not 100% sure on the exact all the details of it but that's typically what goes with it now sometimes like in this instance you can kind of see there's some junk on here um, you know, bingo players, they're drinking, they're eating, smoking, whatever, and uh, they spill stuff on the unit, uh, sometimes dauber, they dob the buttons, all that kind of stuff. So you never know what you're going to find in here. I like to, we, uh, we use um, rubbing alcohol, um, diluted rubbing alcohol, a little bit of water, um, but you can use just like, uh, just some rubbing alcohol, put in a spray. This is just kind of great because you can spray this all in here um, using a, a toothbrush. Um, kind of get this kind of gobbledygook, this, this sticky junk off of here and typically you won't have a problem. So like I, I'm touching that and that's sticky. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and douse this and then kind of clean this up a little bit. And when I get back, we'll return. All right. Uh, go ahead and got that all cleaned up. Now I can touch it. It's not sticky. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and just use a, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a new uh, gel pad and uh, uh, board here. But uh, I can easily use the old one on the old gel pad. But for this example, we're just going to go ahead and use the new one. So <clears throat> with that said, you're going to take your gel pad pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go ahead and just lay it in place. It should fit in there. And now what I like to do is feed this through. Oops. And this is only going to go in here one way. Um, and if you look, it's going to line up with all of these holes. So the, uh, the other thing too, you can look at the sticker you know, the opposite end, just so you can see that. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and line this up real quick. Set that on. And if you look, everything lines up. And that's that. So, um, next, go ahead and just put... One thing I do like to do is uh, go ahead and get this all put back together with just a couple screws. Um, the problem is the way this keypad plastic is formed and made, it 
requires pressure um, to, for the pad to work correctly. So I like to do um, just a few here. This one a bit of a pain, but you can kind of see I do the middle. Should be in just enough amount of pressure to um, make that uh, board work, and that way, if for some reason it didn't work, or you know, one of the uh, you happen to put in, you know, you didn't think it was the the um, uh, circuit board, and maybe it was just some sticky buttons or uh, some stickiness on the gel pad keeping the. Uh, Keeping the gel from from um, being pressed. This way, I don't know why this one's not wanting to. Come on, not wanting to go in. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you get you know six of them in. That's half of the screws. That way, if you have to take it back apart. You don't have 12 screws to do, you just got the six, which kind of helps. So, same way, just kind of push it in, and I just like to go through the buttons and make sure that they all work. You can hit the green button and then just hit the red X to click clear mouse. So, if you had, you know, have to fill that down a little bit more. If you had this all filled with numbers, you hit that, it's going to try to load, but just hit the red X, it clears it out. It's kind of a quicker way. But anyway, that is how you. Um, replace the innards of a keypad um, pretty, pretty easy um, probably one of the easier things to fix on this unit um, and they like I said it typically is this that will um, that will go out but uh, uh, it could also very well just be that something was spilled on top of here and it just needs to be cleaned up um, that does happen more times than none um, but you should have some of these just in case. Um, but again, super easy fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and since this is uh, uh, this is good, and that's working correctly. I'll go ahead and put these last uh, six screws in, and this uh, that wraps this up.